What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Nord Trades and today I bring you another special video. The Sunday Stock Watch List where I give you all the stocks that I'm looking at, why I like it, why I don't like it, and you know, the usual where I give you a bunch of bangers every single week and nothing has changed since 2017, 2018. So, before you get, uh, go ahead in this video, hit that like button. You know, I'll wait till you do that. There we go. Subscribe. Hit that alert button so you don't forget or miss any videos. I'm uploading all types of videos, vlogs, uh, you know, live trading videos with my chat, you know, Sunday stock watch list, you name it. And then comment down below what other stocks am I missing from my watch list? What has been moving or is about to move that I'm missing and I'm currently not looking at? And let me know what other videos I should add uh, to my channel. You know, I'll di I diversify whatever you guys want me to do. So, before we go ahead and start this video, uh, I have a schedule here. Uh, you guys know every single week I like to let you know what's going uh, on in the world in the stock market. So, you know, people might be talking that you shouldn't be trading through. You never know. FOMC announcement on Wednesday. Uh, you know, you have the Fed chair press conference at 2.30 on Wednesday as well. And then you have jobless claims on Thursday, obviously. Uh, you know, and, you know, FOMC meeting starts Tuesday. I don't see anybody speaking, but, you know, it's always good to have this. But... If you guys want a clear picture, it's always a little blurry because I have to have it wide, uh, widened on this Mac. If you want a clear picture, just go to my Instagram, Trey Like Nor. Uh, if you guys want to see it, you know, rather than hear it, go to the description down below. Trey Like Nor is my trading page. Stock Hours is my students page or the chat page, and then Nor Trades is my personal page. So I only have three pages. Do not get scammed from these fake ass Nor Trades pages. They're getting everybody nowadays. So here's the schedule for this week. Now let's go to earnings. Earnings, like I said last week, has really come to an end. Obviously, there are a few little companies that are cool to look at and possibly trade uh, because, you know, sometimes they do move. You know, Oracle's one this week that makes sense to be looking at. Other than that, I'm not going to really be looking at anything personally here. This isn't, you know, my type of stocks. Adobe, actually, I lied. Oracle and Adobe are the two that I'll be looking at for this week. You know, and that's pushing it because I don't really look at them. But Adobe is definitely a mover. So here's it. This is a, there's a clear picture on Trey Like Nor on Instagram. Like I said, just go there. You can screenshot from there. It'll be so much better. Now, before we go ahead and talk about this week's, let's talk about the bangers from last week. So Amazon hit a trend on the one year la uh, last week. I told you guys we were either we either break here or we bounce. Right, I liked it better on the three year actually. We either break here or we bounce, right? So if you're someone that likes to play bounce place off the of support trends, uh, you know, uh, you know, pattern breaks, it don't matter. But this was something that I looked at and took advantage of that last week. If you guys go to trade like Nor, I took an Amazon trade almost every single day. As you can see, this bounced from 32.21 up to like 33.66, I believe. Um, you can look at the last five days. 31.72 up to 33.66. So that's like a $200 move within five day period. And I caught almost every single day. It was a great week uh, for me and Amazon. We got along uh, and NVIDIA. So NVIDIA was another one I was talking about. Look at the last five days here. Uh, it was consolidating and then I finally took advantage of it on a Friday. I didn't even bother playing it. Remember I told you, uh, you know, it can either stall out here and then come back or it can stall out and pull back. I waited and so I was just looking to see if we were going to consolidate or break out. If you guys can see on the one hour, we stalled out and then we finally broke out on Friday and I took advantage of that. If you want to check out what happened on Friday and how much I took advantage of NVIDIA, go to Trade Like Nor, you'll see everything there. So as you can see, we broke the high of like 712, I believe, all the way up to 717. It was a great move for NVIDIA. Another thing that I talked about last week that happened this week uh, is Facebook's all time high. It was a one day thing. Uh, as you guys can see, this thing ended up pushing all the way up to 338.30. So it was a pretty crazy move for Facebook. I believe the high before this was 333. If you go back to the video, I said I was looking for the all-time high break, uh, and this ended up breaking, you know, about five dollars. Uh, and then I didn't play Facebook again. We'll talk about Facebook for this week, but uh, you know, as of right now, 
uh, there's nothing that we'll talk about from last week. So that's all of last week. NQ I talked about last week. It hasn't happened yet, so I'll just skip to this week. So let's talk about this week. We got a whole bunch of plays. This is the first time in a while where we have so many plays. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous. So the first thing we're going to start, uh, start with is NVIDIA. So NVIDIA, you guys see it. It's self-explanatory. We're in this nice little channel uh, as we're pushing up. We have this, you know, the uptrend right here, and we have the top of this trend right here. So I'm looking at the 717-720 break for NVIDIA to take another leg up. Uh, so that's NVIDIA. NVIDIA is obvious. That's momentum. We'll see where the momentum is. We go with the momentum. Don't try to force a trade if NVIDIA is not there. Like I said, these four, four days, I didn't take one trade on NVIDIA. I didn't force a trade. Then the fifth day came, and this I ended up seeing the break in consolidation. I took a trade on NVIDIA. Other than that, I waited till Friday. So... That's the video. Now, Amazon right here, momentum is shifting to the upside. Forget about all these crazy lines. Uh, you know, you could even throw this on the one hour if we wanted to. Four hour looks better because you get the bigger picture. So my resistance right here is 33.74. I'm looking for a break of that high we just had, I believe is 33.66, but most importantly, this 33.74 level uh, for the next leg up to 3,400. And from 3,400, we can start seeing different levels, 3,420, 3,450. Uh, but I'll be on high alert for Amazon. I love playing uh, these whole numbers like 3,400 and 3,450, 3,500, all that good stuff. So NVIDIA, Amazon, both on the momentum uh, watch list here. Facebook, not on the momentum watch list. It's on the downtrend watch list. So first of all, we have this flat top. We have this uptrend right here. So, uh, you know, this isn't really what I'm looking at because it broke out already. But what I'm really looking at is we have this 15 minute downtrend, right? Uh, so you can see that we keep hitting this top of this trend, the top of this trend, uh, and we just keep bouncing off. Are we going to break to the top and end up taking this new high out? We'll find out. I'm not the person to be, you know, guessing. I'm a lot of people love guessing while they're, you know, trading. You know, I'm just going to get in because it looks like it's going to break out. I don't care what it looks like it's going to do. I wait till it's about to happen or it's happening and then I take advantage of it. You know, I'm not here to guess where the, I'm not a fortune teller. You're not a fortune teller. Don't act like a fortune teller. That's why you're losing money in the market. So even if I put this on the one hour, this actually looks really good. So now you have the uptrend from the bottom, the top of this trend right here. Uh, it's still an uptrend. We do have a little downtrend going on here on the 15 minute. Let's see if we can break through that and take out this high at 338 and 340. Then we have room to 344. So that's Facebook. Shopify is very fun when it actually moves because the contracts are actually paying. When Shopify is dead, those contracts have no volume and it sucks to get stuck in one of those. Uh, but Shopify, wedge on the four hour, I noted that down. Uh, on the one hour, it actually looks pretty good here too. So you guys have the downtrend here. Downtrend, it looks like we broke out. We're kind of struggling at this 1250 level, it looks like, right? Uh, it's clear to the eye. And then from there, we have 1300. But let me put this on the four hours so you see exactly what I'm looking at. So forget about this line, this red line here. Only focus on this red line. So you have this uptrend right here. And then you have the top trend right here, right? So you have a symmetrical wedge on this one uh, to the upside. So you have the symmetrical wedge facing this way. It looks like if we break out here, we're going to take advantage to start breaking 1300. And from there, I do think shop has a nice run in itself. If the market can hold up, if the market can hold up, obviously shop won't be able to hold up. It's the easiest one uh, to short when we're having, you know, bad market days. You can see how fast this thing comes down, $14.99 all the way down in $10.20. That's a $500 move on Shopify within maybe a 20-day period. So Shopify is one of the easiest ones to short when the market or technology is struggling or having really bad days. So as you guys can see, uh, you know, we have the symmetrical wedge on Shopify here. I'll be watching this very closely. So Baba, I don't, I'm not going to be trading this, but I do like to bring things up, uh, so that it's not selfish. So if I put this on the one hour, you guys can see very clearly today. I don't even need to speak. We have a downtrend here from 225 all the way down to 211. We keep rejecting from this trend line. If we break above, we might get a momentum shift. Baba's just not my type of stock. So you know, I probably won't be playing this. I just wanted to bring it up just in case I do play it or if you like BABA. So that's something to be playing on BABA if you guys like it. BYND, uh, this is in consolidation here. Uh, let me put this on the four hour. So on the four hour, you guys can see we're just consolidating, consolidating. The high that we made the other week 
or the day was like 156.88. I can even put this on the last five days. Yeah, 156.97. So if I put this on the one or four hour, you guys can see we're just consolidating, bouncing from the bottom, trying to hit the top. And if we get rejected, we'll come right back down. But if we end up taking the top, I'll be watching 160. Then I'll be watching this trend here we have on the four hour. Do we take out 160, 161 and start squeezing? Uh, that'll be something that I'll be mainly focused on BYND because BYND can move a lot, especially on days where, you know, it has that momentum or breakout of resistance that it's been stuck in. So as you can see, this stock went from 99 to 150, which let's just say is a $50 flat move within a 10 day period. You get what I mean? So that's a very nice move on a stock for a hundred dollars. So it's a 50% move actually. So next thing I'm looking at is Google. So if I put Google here, it's very obvious. We have an ascending wedge here. You guys can see the flat top and then we have the uptrend here. I'm looking at this 2450 break on Google. When Google is consolidating and having, you know, choppy days, the contracts lack volume and they suck just like Shopify, right? So I stay away from it. But when this is taking out some whole numbers or, you know, or, or breaking out from, you know, some trends that took a while, the top from here was, I think that's April 28th. Yeah, April 28th. And then we're here breaking out in June. So that's a two month period. So... Google looks great from above 2450. It's an all time high for Google. And then from there, obviously I'll be watching 2500 and from 2500, I'll be watching it uh, to the upside. So Google's another one that I love uh, when it breaks out. ZM, we haven't played this in a minute. I haven't played this in a minute, but this thing is back. Look at this. So this has a downtrend on the one year, rejected, well, started here at the 588 all time high, rejected here, rejected here. Uh, we kind of just struggled here and we ended up breaking out so we ended up breaking out from 322. We're already at 366. So ZM looks like it might be back here. Uh, I don't know if I'll be playing it, but I haven't played it in a while. And when I used to play, it was a very good time because ZM's contracts do pay. Uh, so ZM is breaking out technically on the one year. So I can't wait to see what this does uh, this week and the following week. The last thing or second to last thing here is DocuSign. I didn't even realize this made a new high on Friday because I already walked away, right? I took advantage of the day and I walked away. So now let's put this on the one hour. You guys can see this is in a little channel. We're hitting the top here, rejection, bottom here, and then we ended up breaking this here at the all time high, 246. Did I say all time high? Yeah, sorry about that. Recent high, uh, but uh, this, is, this is breaking out. Um, as you guys can see, this is breaking out. We had this little channel here. I wouldn't call it a channel, but a trend that it kept rejecting at. And we're finally breaking out. So DocuSign is another momentum stock that I'm watching on my watch list. Usually the mornings are pretty crazy. So when it takes out that morning high, it just runs for the whole day. I just like taking advantage of that high break. So for example, this 246 break all the way up to 249 uh, and possibly wait for the 250 break because those are usually clean. But DocuSign is another one. The last thing I'm going to talk about is the overall general market. So, uh, NQ, which is technology. I know you guys don't really follow this. You guys follow QQQ, but let me show you guys on the one year or the three year. I actually put it on the one year. So the one year you guys can see, we have a clear uptrend that started here in November. We've been bouncing off of it and we're actually about to take this high out. Now, if I put this on the QQQ, which is the same exact thing, but you guys like these charts better or like QQQ better. So QQQ, same exact chart here. You guys can see it clear because there's no lines. If we take out this high, we still have a trend here at 345, 346. So we need to be careful, but a high looks like it's coming. We're not far away at all. It's QQQ, you know, dollar move here is nothing crazy. Even if I put this on SPY or ES, you guys can see that we're looking like we want to break out. We, we're just consolidating at this top, which is around 422, 423. And we're just consolidating, but it looks like we're about to take out this high. And then from there we have the high or, or the top of this trend at 432. And from there, we obviously have to judge if this is going to break out or get rejected here, just like it got rejected at the top of this trend as well. So ES, even if I put this on spot, it'll look exactly the same. Uh, so we're just struggling here. I can even draw a flat top, uh, but it looks like we're just breaking out on spy. Uh, and that'll be the main focus if the market takes another leg this week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next Sunday Stock Watch List. Good luck this week. Peace.